What's up guys, welcome to Lens Unboxing. So today we're gonna learn how to throw the left body shot. So the left body shot is basically the liver shot and that's a punch that scores a lot of knockouts in boxing. Usually people like to slip to the left before they throw it, landing the shot down to the liver. So let's get into it. So first off, we're gonna get into our boxing position. So just like this, I'm a righty, so I keep my left foot forward, my right foot back, bend the knees, chin down, and the hands are always up. I always like to keep my hands by my temple and I'm always curling my belly button inwards, having my, my, my elbows protect my body. Now, I always keep my, my elbows tucked in, that way, if I get, that way if I eat a body shot, I'm always protected, I always have the insurance on my elbows. Now, when you throw the, the left body shot, this is what it looks like, right? Right? So, what you're, what you're basically doing is you're crouching, you're bringing your right shoulder to your left knee, and you're punching upwards. So you're, up, you're punching diagonally towards the ceiling. So what you want to do is you want to keep a 90 degree angle between the bicep and the forearm. So basically, the left of the body is a left hook tilted sideways, right? So it's a left hook tilted sideways. From here, I'm able to angle the left hook to be able to dig in the rib cage and get that liver. Now the liver's on the right side, so when I'm punching my opponent, it's the left, left, the, the left body shot. So when I'm throwing the left body shot, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm elevating my back heel, twisting my hips, my back knee is facing the ground, and I'm lunging towards the left. My right shoulder goes to my left knee, my hands stay up at all times. From here, I rotate my hips towards the right. As I rotate my hips towards the right, my right heel goes on the ground, and I open up my shot. I'm always keeping a 90 degree angle between the bicep and the forearm, hitting with my first two knuckles, and my front heel is elevated. My hips are facing the wall on my right side, in my case I have a mirror, and my chin is, is, is always tucked in. My left shoulder is protecting my chin at the same time, and I reset. So from the sideways view, this is what it looks like. So from here, elevating the back heel, twisting the hips, back knee facing the ground, lunging towards the left, uh, lunging on the left leg, right shoulder going towards the left knee, hands are up, chin is down. Right hand is always protecting my face, left hand is protecting my face at the same time. From here, rotate to the right, right heel goes on the ground, start throwing the punch, elevating the front heel, rotating my hips towards the right. My body is facing the right and my chin is tucked in, I'm always facing my opponent with my face. So when it's a little bit fast, it looks like this. So from a front view, it looks like this. So as I mentioned earlier, people usually like to slip and then throw the body shot. It's a great counter when someone throws a straight right hand because you go towards that side and they have the opening. Uh, and, the, the, and there's an opening because I had already thrown the right hand. Now, I'm going to show you how it's done on the bag. So when I throw the left of the body on the bag, I always want to be at close to medium range, given the fact that it's not a long shot, right? It's a, it's a shot that you throw at close to medium range. You throw it usually on the inside. So from here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to adjust myself adequately uh, to the bag. And I'm going to measure my shot first. So I know that here I'm far, here I'm mid, and here I'm close. So now that I know my range, I'm able to throw my shot. So from here, slip to the left, throw the body shot. Twist, sit on a left leg, throw the body shot. Landing with the first two knuckles, twisting my hips towards the right. 